One of the oldest veterans on the Western North Dakota Honor Flight is 94 years old. Raymond Graber served in the Korean War and has never had a chance to visit Washington, D.C., and the Navy Memorial is dedicated to veterans like him. That is, until today. Hope Sisk was there to explain why the Honor Flight organization is set on making more of those moments happen. Behind me is the Washington Monument. It's one of many major historic sites we are seeing in this jam-packed tour of the Western North Dakota Honor Flight. As I'm chatting with veterans during this process, I'm hearing that they are all taking in as many of these sites as much as they can. This is a trip they've been wanting to go on for years or possibly even decades. The Western North Dakota Honor Flight started up during the pandemic and because of restrictions, they weren't able to fly veterans until last year. That was their first trip. This year makes the second and they hope to hold many more. But for some families, this was an opportunity they could not miss. It's been super, super. So many memories come back, particularly this one. And just listening to him talk to all the other Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, um, and sharing memories of the wars. Um, there are a few Korean vets here, so that's been fun. And we've gotten to be kind of friendly with them at tables and stuff. The care the organizers and volunteers with Honor Flight have taken for each of these veterans to address every need that they have and keep them safe along this trip is pretty remarkable. They're working to do it again this fall. If they can secure the funding, they hope to take another flight full of dozens more veterans out to see these same sites. Reporting in Washington, D.C., Hope Sisk, for your news leader.